Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to install Expose Framework LS Patch on any Android device running Android 13 or lower version without the need of root. Yes, up until now, we used to flash the Expose Framework which is also known as LS Post which require root. But now you could easily install the Expose Framework modules without even rooting your phone. This is possible thanks to the LS Patch module. So in this guide, we'll show you how to install it on your phone. You could try it across any stock ROM or custom ROM running Android 13 or any OS version lower than that. In my case, I'm using a custom ROM named C-Android based on Android 13. You could try it across any Android OS stock or custom ROM based on Android 13 or any lower OS version from Android 8 to Android 13. So with that said, let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to install the Shizuku app from Play Store. So download and install it. Once that is done, launch the Shizuku app, then tap on or rather launch it and minimize it. Now go to the settings menu on your phone and from settings menu go to about phone and tap on build number 7 times. This will enable developer option. So go back, go to system, then go to developer option and enable the toggle next to while debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone, tap on allow. Once that is done, now launch the Shizuku app and go to the start wireless debugging section and tap on pairing. It will now ask you to enable notification. So tap on notification option and enable the toggle next to all Shizuku notification. Now go back and now tap on developer option. Now go to the wireless debugging section and tap on the wireless debugging text. Tap on the text, not the toggle. After that, tap on pair device with pairing code. You will now get a code and Shizuku prompt as well. So in my case, it's 477. 47005 so make sure to type in the correct code and once that is done we are typing the code inside the shizuku prompt that we appeared so type in this code and hit enter and you will get pairing successful now this notification is not interactive so just minimize the app and launch the shizuku app after that go back and tap on start it will again bring up a prompt so go to developer option and disable wireless debugging then again re-enable it and tap on allow. Now again go back to the Shizuku app and this time it will now start. It will take 3 seconds and let's wait for the time. As you could see it has now started and scroll to the top. You could see Shizuku is running. So we are running via the ADB and not via root. So this means Shizuku is running via the ADB command and we are now good to go ahead. So your next course of action is to install the LS patch module which is in fact the expose module that does not require any root. So let's now install the LS patch module. For that, go to my link guide. The link of this guide is given in the description. Go there and then scroll to the step number 10. And from step 10, tap on LS patch. It will take you to GitHub page. And from the GitHub page, you need to go to the release page. So go to the release page and download the APK file, which is name manager.apk. So download it and then install it. So I've already downloaded the file. Now let's go to the file manager app and let's install the app known as manager.apk. So tap on install and it will now install the LS patch module. Let's now open it. Once you have opened the app, tap on Shizuku service not connected. You will now get a LS patch to access Shizuku. Tap on allow all the time. With this, Shizuku service is now running and LS patch is now using the Shizuku service. So with this, the LS patch is now running on our phone using Expose framework without root. However, as you could see currently, it does not have any modules on its page. So you will have to download it from GitHub. And as I have told you before, there are not many modules that are supported as of now. So only a few modules are supported. One of the modules that I managed to find out was regarding the translation app. So let me show you once. So just for sake of reference, I'm using that module. So I have already downloaded it. Let's now install it. As opposed to Magis, which has all the modules in zip format. In case of LS post or LS patch, the modules are simply an APK file. So just install the APK. And once that is done, hit on done and then launch the LS patch and go to the module section. And as you could see, the module is now been installed and you could manage and change the settings from here or simply launch the APK as well. This is the all trans APK. You could access from here itself or directly from the LS patch page as well. And as I have told you before, there are not quite a lot of modules are still not supported. So make sure the module you are installing is supported by LS patch that is in a non-rooted environment. So guys, this was all from this video. If you want to know further, so let's discuss one more thing regarding this on how you could uninstall this module. 
So uninstalling this module is simply easy. All you have to do is simply uninstall the APK file itself. Once you uninstall the APK file, the module will be removed from the LS patch as well. As you could see, the module is gone and there is no module in our section. Now, if you want to uninstall the LS patch as well, then that is also quite easy. Since it's just an APK file, long press on it and select uninstall and tap OK. It will be removed from your phone. And once that is done, you could also uninstall Shizuku app if you want. So guys, on that note, we round off this video on how you could install Xpose Framework or LS Post, LS Patch on your Android 13 device. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And guys, please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.